No matter what your skill level, get ready to learn some world-class card magic from a master of sleight of hand with cards as Darwin Ortiz gives you lessons in card mastery. Yes, there are some pretty intense techniques in this Penguin Live lecture, including work with the Pharaoh Shuffle, Pinky Count, Estimation, Riffle Stacking, Multiple Top Change, and more. Darwin begins with some interesting approaches to working with a memorized deck, as he has any card name, then uses a random card which the spectator inserts face up wherever he likes. Amazingly, the card named is found right below that face up card. What card did you name, Butch? Six of Clubs. Would you uh, look at that card and then show it to everybody else? Next, he tests his luck, as he again has any card named and makes a $100 wager on a 50-50 proposition. But he realized that bet's a little one-sided. If your card is not in this pile, you get to take home the $100. And $100 is a lot of money. Let me just <laughs> hold on. And just when the odds are almost all against him, he shows that his one remaining chance is all he really needed. King of Hearts. The King of... Oh my God! <laughs> Next. He asks for a four of kind to be named, but uh, changes his mind and uses a different set, which he produces after a bit of thorough shuffling. Perhaps feeling a little bad for disregarding the first suggestion, he also produces that four of a kind for a shocking climax. Three. What? <laughs> now, he shows you the finest Texas Hold'em routine to date, where not only do you find three selected cards on the flop, but you also deal yourself pocket aces and a third ace on the turn, and the final one floats down the river. Now for non-card players, it's a multiple card revelation and ace production, and for Hold'em players, well, it's a miracle. Next, he goes in-depth into Vernon's aces by showing his ultimate version of the trick, where not only does he find the aces, which have been truly separated in the deck, but also the entire deck sorts itself out as a mind-blowing finale. Finally, Darwin finishes us off with the supercharged nine card location where multiple selections are mixed by a spectator into the deck, yet he finds each one in a unique way. He finds one by cutting to it, another by sandwiching it, one with his right hand, one with his left hand, one even pops out on its own, and finally, the last one is discovered in a box that has been watched by a spectator the whole time. Show everyone that it is the three of clubs with Anthony's first and last name. So, get your deck of cards ready and get serious. Darwin Ortiz makes his living with a deck of cards and you're about to find out why as he teaches you some of his astounding card magic. Hello everyone, my name is Darwin Ortiz. Welcome to Penguin Live. 